Hey, so welcome back. Let's have a go at bandit level 3 to level 4. The level goal being that the password for the next level is stored in a hidden file in the in here directory. We've got the same commands as we've had since the beginning. And it, so we're looking a little bit more involved this time. It looks like we're going to have to sort of move into different um, directories, the in here directory, and we've got to look at the hidden files. So there's going to be a couple more things to, to do this time, which is good because we sort of get used to the idea of using ls and the cat command. Uh, so it'd be nice to start introducing a couple more things. So I've got my bandit3 login and we're looking for an in here directory. So we're going to use ls. And there it is, we've got an in here directory. Now on my particular terminal it comes up a bit darker blue instead of white um, for directories. And another way we could check to show that it's a directory is in Linux everything is treated as a file. Uh, so we can use this file command on anything in the directory and it will give us a bit more information about it. It just says very briefly and um, exactly what we need to know that in here is a directory. So now we want to try and move into that directory because we need to look inside there for this hidden file. So that's where we introduce the cd command cd command down here. Um, cd is really going to be used loads and loads and loads. It, it stands for change directory and you just provide it with the directory that you want to go to. Um, you can give it a relative path like, like just by putting in here or you can give it the full specify path um, you know slash home slash bandit3 slash in here and it will work. Um, you can also give it a couple more things but we'll talk about them when they when they come up. So for now we're just going to try and use cd, cd in here and you can see now in the shell prompt here that it's now saying that we're we're in here. See this little tilde sign um, is sort of a shorthand for your home folder. So here we're in the home folder uh, and then here we're in here. <laughs> um, so that's good. So now we want to use ls because we're going to try and find this hidden file. And nothing comes up, which would make sense, right, because it's hidden. So we need a way to display even the files that are hidden. So I would say, let's look at the man page for ls. Right, um, and straight away, this flag jumps straight out at me. The A flag. To, to list all. Um, so if we use that, ooh, you can see straight away that we've got these now, these three new uh, entries. Now in, in Linux all hidden um, files and directories start with a full stop, so if you were to make a directory with a full stop at the beginning or period, however you want to pronounce it or to, to say it, um, it would be hidden uh, by default. Uh, if we use the the A flag to display those hidden folders and files as well. Now I briefly talked about this full stop and double full stop uh, directories before. This one just means it's the directory that points to this directory and the double full stop points to the directory above. Now if we do file dot hidden it tells us that it's a, an ASCII text file which we would expect, and we can just use the cat command on it as normal. Just like that, we, um, we've navigated through, through a folder, displayed the hidden files in that particular folder, and printed the, the contents of a file to standard output. So we're starting to build a couple more sort of basic building blocks as to how we can navigate Linux and how we can sort of move data about, basically manipulate data. So yeah, that's it for this one. That's the password there for your Bandit 4 and I will see you there.